Number two, if I submit, uh, or if you submit, it won't be harmed. The quote would be, if I, if I just give them what they want and do exactly as they say, they won't harm me. Now, what I'm talking about here is not just someone after your purse or after your uh, 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 wallet or money or something like that in the parking lot. Now, if it's that, give it to them. It's just stuff. Okay? It's not worth your life. That is a pain in the butt to get your driver's license and credit cards and all that stuff replaced, but it's better than getting physically harmed. That's not what this is talking about. What this is talking about is if I'm just going to paint a scenario for you. Anybody, where do you go shopping for groceries? Publix, Walmart, Winn Dixie, Target? All of them. Okay. Of those, and this isn't a slam on a particular type of shopping center, is there any time that you go to one of those particular shopping centers and you're in the parking lot and you feel less safe than maybe another one? Okay. Uh, well, imagine you're at that particular shopping center. Your car, you're walking to your car, you just left the building. And uh, or the shopping center, you know, walking to your car, pushing your stuff to your car. And right beside your car is a white van with no windows, panel body van. Big sliding glass. I'm oh, sliding glass. The big, <laughs> hey, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> the big sliding door. Um, well, that's beside your car, and you're like, wait a minute, okay, whatever. That's kind of another van or whatever it goes through your mind, and you just leave it at that. Okay, you're pushing your stuff through here, and you get to your car, and there's the van. Well, here's your door to open up. You know, you're putting your stuff in your vehicle, and someone jumps out of that van door opens. Someone's standing there in the van. Maybe they got a mask on, maybe they don't. They're pointing a gun at you and saying, don't scream, don't say a word, I'll shoot. Just get in the vehicle. Get in the car right now. If you scream, I'll kill you. Now, that's stinking scary, isn't it? Okay, and most of the time you'd be, you'd be frozen and you'd be like, what do I do? I don't want to go with this person, but they said they'll kill me if I scream, so I'm not going to scream. Or maybe if I get in the vehicle, they won't kill me. That's what this is talking about. He's telling you, he's giving you direct orders real quick and telling you, pointing a gun, and the gun will look like it's this big. Okay, he's telling you, don't scream. Why? He's telling you, don't scream, because if you scream, you'll attract attention from other people in the parking lot. He doesn't want attention. He wants to get in, get out. Kind of like that Silence of the Lambs movie that's super creepy. Okay, I don't like to watch that movie. I left it with a buddy, I remember, and I was like looking over my shoulder, walking in my car. I mean, it creeped me out. Okay, that was a long time ago. And the thought of the dollar theater. Okay, so um, I'm glad I did. It was a freaky movie. Anyway, so that is a situation. He doesn't want you to see anything. He doesn't want you to draw attention. What you want to do is the opposite. What you want to do, yell, scream, go berserk, and say, gun, gun, scream, gun. Don't, say, don't scream, help. Scream, gun. Other people in the parking lot, they don't want to get shot either, okay? So they're going to go, boom, and look where that's going on. And then he's going to be freaked out. He has now, okay, just a little bit of time. He's going to jump out and try and grab you, which then you're going to put the on him, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I had to do that in Austin Power. Do your job. But no, not the judo job. But you're going to do that to him. But he has limited time now. So he's going to have to either make a decision. i got to, I got to get out of here. I'm going to leave the parking lot. Or I'm going to grab you and leave. Okay. That's number one. Number two, he says, I'll kill you. I'll shoot you if you don't get in the van or the car. Now, if he want to kill you, he was going to kill you right there, okay? He has other plans first and then get rid of you and kill you. But in the parking lot, he doesn't want to shoot you. If he wanted your money, he would take your money by force, by a gun. If he's trying to take you in the van, there's a word for that, it's called abduction, kidnapping, okay? The key here is this, all the FBI stats, all the crime stats say this, less than 0.01% survive going to what they call the secondary crime scene. First crime scene is there in the parking lot. The second one, you're on either a milk carton or you're never seen ever again, or all the other things you see on TV, but you're not found alive. The ones that are found alive, it's super rare. I say all this to say, 
that all the studies show you must, and this is one of the most important things in the whole entire women's self-defense course, you must choose right now, today, that if that happens, you will stand your ground right then and there. You will not submit. You will, you, if these points are gone at you, you will not go with him because if you get in that car, you're not going to be seen again. If you get in the car, he's going to take you to a secondary location that's private, do bad, horrible things, and then you're dead. This is what you need to think of to get up all the gumption you can to fight right then and there is this. Who is going to miss me? Is it my children? Is it my parents? Is it, is it my family? Is it my spouse? How the horror and the heartbreakingness, the sorrow that they will experience conjure up all that emotion and say, no, I'm worth it, I'm going to survive, I'm going to live, I am not allowed this SOB to do this. He's not, he has no right, he's not going to take my life, and he's not going to destroy my family. You have to conjure up that emotion. And if he gets out of that car with that gun, you're taking his eyeball, okay? You're doing bad things to him. You're going to fight right there in that parking lot with all those witnesses. It's too late if you get in that vehicle. It's too late. You have to stand your ground right then and there. That is, the, that is the worst thing to think about. But we're here today to confront those fears and confront those ideas and the things that we don't want to think about and beat them and win and know how. And you guys are going to have tools in your tool belt to be able to pull out in that situation, okay? If you're unarmed, if you don't have a gun, if you don't have anything in your hands, these right here will become your weapons. And you'll, you're going to learn how to deploy them very well, okay? So, are you guys going to submit? Nope. Are you going to stand your ground if that ever happens? I will stand my ground. I'm going to fight. <laughs> okay. Yes, good. <laughs> good. Come on. so funny. I can see the faces in the beginning. They're just like, you know, queasy and all this kind of stuff. And like, oh, I don't want to do this. Man, by the end of the day, they're like wanting blood. They're like, more, more. What if this happens wrong? And, and then you're like, do it to them. Okay, off the top of that. Okay, so. Yeah, it's my time. Right. What's Kung Fu movie night? Yeah. So I had to light it up a little bit after that gruesome, all right? So.